But you know what today we have? We have a bunch of fornicators being congratulated and praised for getting pregnant with their bastard children. I said bastard. Yeah. Right, yeah. Now listen to me. I'm using the dictionary definition of the word bastard, which is a child that is illegitimate, a child that's born out of wedlock, a child born to unmarried parents. It's a bastard child. That's what the Bible says. You know, well, that's mean. No, it's love. Speaking the truth in love. Keeping the commandments of God. God says, walk in love. Ephesians is a pretty loving book. A lot of love, love, love in Ephesians. And right in the middle of that is him telling us, hey, look, we can't tolerate fornication. Can't have it around. Let it not be named among you. Okay, so if it's not even supposed to be named among us, why is it that when some woman gets knocked up out of wedlock, so, and I'm talking about a Christian. I'm not talking about unbelievers. I'm talking about a Christian lady. And look, if you don't like this preaching, don't say that you like hard preaching. You know, we got to, oh, I love hard preaching because I like the yelling. You know, until it hits you. This is hard preaching. Yeah. Hard preaching is not about the volume of the preacher. Right. Right. Yeah. It's not about, you know, it's about what's being said. It's about taking the hard truth from the Bible and laying it on you unfiltered. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you something. We got too many people today congratulating women who are pregnant with a bastard and we're supposed to just congratulate that. I thought it's not even supposed to be named among us. Right. Right. Oh, you're pregnant, congratulations. Except that you're not married. That's not a congratulate. You know what we ought to say? And look, I'm not saying to be a jerk. I'm saying to do the right thing. And you know what? If somebody came to me and said, I'm pregnant and they're not married, you know what I'd say? I'd say, that, that's too bad. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's terrible. That's a shame. And you know what? If you're going to tell, oh, congratulations, you're an idiot. Yeah. And you're not loving. You're not loving. Don't come to, well, you're just not loving. No, you're not loving. You love yourself. And you want everybody to like you, and you want to be popular, and you don't want to make any waves in the family. So you're going to tell people what they want to hear, not because you love that person, not because you love the people around them, because you love yourself. Yeah. It's self-love today. It's not the love of God. The love of God says, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Why? Because you're telling the person the truth because you want to get them to see that they need to change their ways. And why? Because you don't want their younger siblings to go down the same road. Right. I mean, the younger siblings look up and they see their adult sibling congratulated for being pregnant with some dude's bastard that there's no, there's not even any talk of marriage. No talk of marriage. You're pregnant with some dude's bastard. Why are we congratulating you? What are we teaching our children? What are we teaching the other young people? What are we teaching the teenagers of the church? What are we teaching the young singles? We're teaching them that this can be named among us and it's fine. No, it's a shame is what it is. It's an embarrassment. It ought to be humiliating. It's how it used to be when this world was a normal place. But today the world's been turned upside down with a bunch of fake preaching and fake love and self-love. I'm not going to do it. Not congratulating women who get knocked up out of wedlock. And here's what people say, well, it's not the child's fault. Oh, 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 really? So that you're congratulating the child? <laughs> really? So you wa wa you're walking up to the stomach and saying, congratulations on being conceived. <laughs> that child in the womb doesn't know whether you congratulate its mom or not. <laughs> that little child in the womb at four weeks gestation, six weeks gestation, eight weeks gestation, it doesn't know whether you told the mom, you need to stop living in fornication. You need to stop living in sin. You need to stop being a whore. You need to get married. You need to, or you need to get out, you know, change your life. Look, the child doesn't know. So don't tell me, well, I'm doing it for the sake of the child. Baloney, you're doing it for the sake of yourself. Right, right, right. Because you want to be the cool dad, the cool mom, the cool aunt, the cool uncle, the cool cousin, the cool pastor. Why don't you be real and tell people, hey, it's a, sh it's, it's a shame. It's terrible. Is the guy even going to marry you? Are you even getting married? 
It's a shame. And you know what? Oh, it's just wonderful being a single mother. It's garbage. Yeah. Being as, you know what single mothers produce? Uh, more single mothers. They get pregnant with a girl and then that girl grows up to be a single mother. Who gets pregnant with a girl that grows up to be a single mother? You know what the number one indicator for poverty in America is if you're a single mother? Lowest income possible. Why? Because you're going to fail in life as a single mother because it's a stupid way to live your life. I said it's stupid. I said it's foolish. It's ungodly. It's wicked. It's unbiblical. It's unchristian. You need to be a virgin when you get married and keep yourself pure. That's what a loving pastor is going to tell you. Amen. You say, well, I've already made the mistake. Well, you know what? Shame on you. Repent and get it right. Yeah. I got to move on. It's, I, I got to move on to the next point. Go, if you would, to 2 Timothy chapter 4. Number one, self-love versus love for parents. Self-love says, oh, I don't want to spank them. I just want to give them everything that they want because I love them so much. And then when that child grows up and gets knocked up with some dude's bastard, then it's like, oh, I just love them so much. So that's why I want to put on the baby shower and congratulate and celebrate. And, take a bunch of and look, I'm not saying to take it out on the kid. It's not the kid's fault that he's born out of wedlock. You know, reach out to the kid. Try to help the kid as best as you can. But you know what? Sorry, you can't sit there and expect to just allow people to just be backslidden Christians around you and drinking and fornicating, and then you expect your kids to turn out right. Because you're showing them the opposite of what you're preaching. You're showing them, well, you know, we're against fornication, but hint, hint, wink, wink, nod, nod. We look the other way. No, I don't look the other way. Makes me sick. 